Charlotte, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance led by National Honor Society members Kenneth, Aubrey, Kyle, Peyton, Maggie, and Cameron. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, I'm Christian Bowie. And I am Caleb Kelly. And this is Westside Daily with your morning announcements. The fall sports award for varsity soccer teams is tonight at 6 p.m. in the gym. The boys' high school basketball meeting is this Friday at 2.45. There is a mandatory back-to-basketball meeting for all middle school and high school basketball players and their parents or guardians. This will be on November 20th at 6, at 6 p.m. Now we go to Miranda and Brendan with special news. The senior class is sponsoring a Thanksgiving pie sale next Wednesday, November 22nd, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., or until supplies last, outside of Sweet Caroline's. Make sure you stop by to get one for your Thanksgiving dinner. West Rutland's production of The Velveteen Rabbit will premiere this Friday night, November 17th, at 7 p.m. at the Town Hall. There will be two shows the following day on Saturday, November 18th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Please come watch West Rutland's first theater production in many years. Now for our student interview. Hi, I'm Miranda James, and I'm here with one of the cast members of The Velveteen Rabbit, Olivia Orr. What do, role do you have in the play, and do you like your role? Um, I play Timothy, the toy soldier, and I like my role. Do you think you'll pursue a career in acting in the future? Definitely not, no. What's your favorite part of being, in, of being part of this production? Um, my favorite part is just getting to work with everybody and watching the play like develop from how it started. Yeah. Are you feeling? Are you nervous for opening night? How do you deal with fe feeling nervous? Um, I'm not really nervous for opening night, but like when I'm nervous, I just do what everybody does. I guess I just deal with it. Thank you for your time, Olivia. Now back to Christian and Caleb. Thanks, Miranda and Brendan. The class of 2026 has. WRS trucker hats for sale for $20 each. If you're interested in buying one, see Miss Audette for more details. This Wednesday, no November 15th, is class meeting is class meeting day from 7:45 to 8:15. This Wednesday, our student of the quarter awards for grades 7 through 12 in the gym from 10:25 to 11:10. Also on Wednesday is a student council meeting in the library. Right after students of the quarter awards from 11:10 to 11:40. Now to Dylan with the weather. Thanks Caleb and Christian. For today's weather it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 38 degrees and a low of 27 with a 24% chance of rain. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high of 46 and a low of 28. Now for a short message from the National Honor Society. Good morning. I'm Kenna Wright Chapman. And I'm Peyton Gway. And we are from the National Honor Society with a special announcement for you all. The Thanksgiving food drive is here and in full swing. Pre-K through 6th grade are competing for the most amount of items collected. The winning class, not grade, will be rewarded with an ice cream party. Every class has a box in the room to store their items. Just make sure the date on those items has not passed, and no fresh fruits or veggies, please. The food drive ends on November 16th, so even if your box is full, don't give up. The National Honor Society thanks you, and so do all the families we will be helping. Happy Thanksgiving! On November 9th, the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. said goodbye to its giant pandas. As they left for China, it's the first time the zoo hasn't had pandas in 23 years, and it may mark the end of a 50-year program. The National Zoo didn't own the pandas. It had a special agreement with China, which allowed them to keep the pandas for a certain amount of time. The National Zoo's pandas are were an instant hit and became an important symbol of the zoo. When they were brought to the zoo in 1972, since then the zoo had always had pandas, except for one year. The pandas are extremely popular and are one of the big reasons why people visit the zoo. The pandas are will be greatly missed by the zoo and its visitors. 
Today's book is Seen and Unseen by Elizabeth Partridge and Lauren Tamaki. Seen and Unseen is a thought-provoking exploration of the injustice against Japanese-American citizens during World War II, captured in the form of photos. The Japanese internment camps were created after racial tension increased because of the events of Pearl Harbor. Thousands, if not millions, of Japanese-American people were racially profiled and forced to abandon their homes and lives to be sent to internment camps until the war ended. Seen and Unseen is a Golden Dome book this year and is only available for six and fifth grades. If you would like to borrow the book, please see Miss Rodolfi in the library. Thanksgiving break is coming up. There will be no school next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The lunch for today is beef nacho supreme, cheese sauce, garden salad, rice, palaf, sorry, and Mexical corn. Now for the joke of the day. Knock, knock. Who's there? Justin. Justin who? Just in time for dinner. There are no birthdays today. That That's all for today. Thanks for watching. And as Mr. Slinker would say, have a great day of learning.